Hi everyone, it's Yuto from SlashyRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a popular Japanese style pasta dish called Spaghetti Napolitan. It's essentially spaghetti with hot dogs and vegetables in a ketchup sauce. It's well loved by kids and adults alike, so let's get straight to it. The first thing we need to do is start heating the water for the pasta. This is about 3 litres, so it's going to take a little while to come to a boil. In the meantime, we can prep our ingredients. I'll start by cutting my green peppers, simply cut them into thin slices like this. About half a bell pepper is good, but I'm using Japanese piment which are pretty tiny, that's why it looks like I'm using more. Next I have mushrooms, I've already trimmed the stalks and I'm just cutting thin slices again. These are brown button mushrooms and I'm using three, they're about medium size. You don't have to strictly use the same mushrooms, you could use the white variety or larger portobello mushrooms instead if you like. Our last vegetable is onion, I'm using half, just cut off the ends and cut it into slices. The thickness really depends on your preference. Lastly, I'm cutting the hot dog sausages. They look nice when they're cut into diagonal slices like this. I'm sure some people aren't happy to see this kind of ingredient in pasta, but Japanese spaghetti napolitan is supposed to be a fun kind of dish that kids can enjoy, so it uses cheap and simple ingredients. Next, we take a large pan, heat on medium, and add a drizzle of olive oil. We'll fry the sausages a bit first, just for a minute or two. Then we add the onions and fry them for another two minutes. I'm not cooking these onions for too long because we want them to still have some bite to them. But if you prefer your onions softer, you can switch the order and soften the onions first. After a couple of minutes, add the pepper and mushrooms and fry for another two minutes. We don't cook the vegetables for too long because we want them to keep a good texture. Even though Napolitan sounds like Italian, it's actually a Japanese creation. It was created by a chef in Yokohama. Back in the day, it was hard to find tomato pasta sauce in Japan, so he decided to use ketchup instead. Okay, so we're gonna work on the sauce now. Add four tablespoons of ketchup and mix it around until everything is coated. Feel free to lower the heat slightly at this point to prevent the sugars in the ketchup from burning. Then we add half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and mix that around. Okay, finally melt a tablespoon of unsalted butter. Once that's all mixed in, we can take it off the heat. Now our water is boiling, so add a tablespoon of salt and between 160 to 200 grams of dry spaghetti. This is about two portions. Cook a minute or two less than what the packaging says because firstly we don't want it to be too soft and secondly we're going to cook it for an extra minute or so in the sauce. While that's boiling we're going to fry a couple of eggs. Take a frying pan here on medium and add a drizzle of oil. Unfortunately my pan isn't flat so the eggs tend to slide to one side. Serving spaghetti napolitan with a fried egg on top is typically done in cafes in Japan so I wanted to make my version of dish cafe style. The egg goes nicely with the hot dog sausages too. 
Add a sprinkle of salt and pepper and then put a lid on it to help trap the heat and cook the top without the need to flip it. If you don't have a lid, lower the heat and fry until the white part is firm and cooked through. Our pasta is almost done, so first we add a couple of tablespoons of pasta water to the frying pan. This adds saltiness and helps loosen up the sauce. The starch from the pasta helps make the sauce a bit glossy too. Finally, add pasta and turn on the heat to a medium-low setting. Mix it around until the pasta is coated with the sauce and everything is warmed through. Finally, we sprinkle it with a pinch of some pepper, half teaspoon of Parmesan cheese, and two more tablespoons of ketchup, just to add some fresh ketchup flavor. Mix it up one more time, and it's time to dish up. Add a sprinkle of parsley for finishing touch and there you have it. Japanese cafe style spaghetti napolitan with a fried egg. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this recipe and like Japanese style pasta dishes you should check out my mentaiko pasta video. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with my new recipes. Hope to see you next time, have a great day.